Hey, what's going on, everybody? Back at it again with the UFC 3. Yes, you see it. We are going against Marshall Mind. This is the third matchup we have on UFC 3. He has beaten me twice, both by fifth round knockouts. Well, all his wins on me dating back to UFC 2 has been fifth round knockouts. So, here we got the third matchup here on UFC 3. Let's see if we have better luck here. We both got Muay Thai practitioners. He has Durandamy. I have Chris Cyborg. All right. You know the first round between me and him always is a fill out. Ugh, excuse me, filling out process. And right now, I like the I like to hang outside of the um, center of the octagon. I know you're supposed to control the center of the octagon, but me, I like to stay outside dictate the pace as I always say and see what I can do see what I can land see what's there right now I know how Mark like I, playing Marshall the times I played him on this game I started to pick on little nuances that I really wasn't paying attention in our previous fights you know he likes to set up with his jab and he likes to throw the jab hook as he did there and then he sets it up his kicks too. And then once he land that little kick straight combo, he immediately he immediately uh, tags the body with the hook. So I knew that, and I started to key in on it a little bit, and I started hang out in it. I started to hang out on the outside and not move in and try to react to when he hits me with the kick. Right there, he hits me with a body kick. But uh, I try to hang out on the outside and not get hit by that uh, body shot after he lands the kick straight combo or throws the kick straight combo. Right here, I get him in a clinch. Now, right here, that was my game plan here, too, going into this fight. Is the wrinkle in the grappling to throw him off his game? Make him work a little bit. Make him work a little bit. And now he got out. He broke. I thought I denied that too because I definitely went left it or up. I know I did. Catch it with that T kick to the body. So again, that was my uh, that was one of my nuances, little game plan. I tried to throw the <laughs> the late kick straight, then the straight body uh body hook combo. But uh, yeah, that was my little game plan. Try to grapple right here, block the leg uh the, the not late kick, the body kick, and take him down. So this is where I have a major advantage right here, able to deny that major ma uh, advantage here, because the random me has terrible grappling stats. But again, I wasn't really, tr I wasn't really going to like overwhelm him on the ground. I just wanted to make him work, because going against Marshall, going against the homie, you need to make him work. You have to make him work, you know, and that's what I wanted to do here able to deny that raining down some punches here got the mount Sable gives up his back again I'll flatten him out just waiting to make him to make a move and then he's able to get him out again trying to break the block a little bit gets back into house guard like I say, he's working though. This is this is what I'm. This is what I want. I want him to work. Side control, ran down the elbow. He's able to sprawl out. So let's rain down some body punches here. And I think he got up. Yep, we got up. We went over under. I tried to get the double under so he won't be able to push me back, but he he keyed in on that. He already knew what was going on. He's able to get out. Now we back standing. Boom, land that combo catch the body kick so I'm feeling real comfortable here I think I got them dictating the pace pretty well dictating the fight you know like I say he's still he's controlling he's controlling the center I'm letting him I'm letting him control the center like I said I'm, I feel more comfortable now fight outside the uh, center of the octagon letting my opponent try to try to dictate me make me you know make me feel uncomfortable but I'm picking my shots I like to pick my shots from the outside he checks that uh, it looked like he checked it but he checked that boom catch him with that jab hook blade kick right now rounds about to be over got 30 seconds in this round 
and I do have it on real time five rounds this we always fight oh I don't know how that uppercut didn't hurt him more but uh, he ducked into that boom catching with uh, my trusty straight hook combo but yeah five round real time clock we always play under these rules and I was able to catch him with catch his body kick again but uh yeah we always play under these rules man whenever me and Marshall you know have a have a friendly battle makes it feel more realistic makes it feel more you know competitive between me and we try to me and him try to play as simulated and as realistic as possible depending on the fighters we have you know so going into the second round I'm feeling good I'm feeling real confident you know I, I thought I took that first round so again now I think in the second round I, I, I felt like I you know could stand with him a little bit more I wasn't going to engage in the grappling you know trying to make him think I didn't want to didn't want to come out shooting for the grap shooting for the uh, clinch shooting for the grappling right away because I know he's probably like okay now he's doing that I'm a, I'm, I'm a I'm gonna defend that. Right now, he's he's pressing me a little bit here. It's, it's not it's not over aggression. It's tactical aggress it's tactical aggression. You know, I I just sensed that he was you know like say he lost the first round. I whiff on that kick. I'm lucky he didn't throw a head kick after that because I'd have been done. Probably have been rocked and dropped. But um, that's how I sensed that he's pressuring me and I was able to catch the body kick. Now he's. I said now he's he's coming into my world, he's coming to me, and I'm able to like try to land some land some strikes there, have catch it with the three piece. And Cyborg has the power, so you know if he gets into a trading uh session with me, I know I'm gonna win that a hundred percent. Alright, so now he's backed up again. He's backed up again. He says that, you know, alright, I don't wanna get too over aggressive. Cyber got the power. I don't want to get caught by nothing. Catch him with the jab to the body hook combo. Like I said, I'm still comfortable, man. I'm still comfortable. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling confident. Boom. Catch him with that body hook. Now he switches. He switched southpaw on me and then he switched back to orthodox. And I did the same thing. I'm like, hey, Marshall, we're not doing that today, Marshall. You're not going to switch southpaw on me and start to set up your body kicks and try to attack my liver. We're not going to do that. I was able to catch, the, catch him with that. Leg kick into body kick combo. So, looking at our stamina, our stamina is really high. This is what I like. This is the these are the matches I love, man. These tactical, technical battles. Stamina is high. No over aggression. No cheese whiz. Pressing you against the cage and you know, smart technical fighting. Catch with that jab hook, but he had the advantage over that. Ooh, catching with that hook straight. He slipped. I wish I would have threw the right hook, but we still was able to land it. Now I'm in southpaw now. I switched back to orthodox. Catching me with an inside leg kick. I catch it with a leg kick of my own. Checked it. And so I was starting to feel that he's he wants to press a little bit. So, like I said, I'm not really trying to be over aggressive myself and try to like throw three, four pieces while he's coming in. Just keep it, keep it simple. Just keep it simple. Catch him with that four piece jab, jab, straight to, to the body hook. Oh, was able to slip that. So I'm trying to key in on shit now. So he's trying to set everything up with his jab. Catch him with the jab, straight to the body hook. Nice, nice. Now I see him ducking. Now I see him ducking. Now I'm, now I'm warning him don't duck because the uppercuts is coming. Do not duck. Do a leg kick, but he was able to do, power through that. Hit me with a jab straight. But yeah, man. Once I see them ducks, once I see him starting to slip, I start to throw a couple of uh, strikes to you know to wave him off. Like you know, don't don't do it because you're gonna get caught. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my best to catch you. But uh, right here, I got him on the ground here. I was able to catch the body kick and take him to the ground. Now I'm trying to work him. I was able to land a few strikes on the ground. And one thing that next time when when we do fight again, I'm going um, to turn the HUD off. I wasn't thinking to turn the HUD off on, on this matchup. I should have. So next time we, you know, we do battle, I'm going to make sure I turn the HUD off and... Uh, Later on, I'm going to post two fights I had with 
Romero because I fought Romero after this and we had two fights and uh I think we yeah we turned it we turned I think we turned the HUD off on both fights I'm not too sure I think it was the I think it was the both fights I'm, I think it was both fights but but yeah see now got him in the back clinch Boom, well, try to take him down, try to sneak in that takedown, but he was able to defend that. Now he's raining down body shots. Got him in over under and got back to my feet. Now to my shock, I thought he would have broke when he had me in sprawl. In sprawl. But nah, he's engaging in the clinch. He's not afraid. Right here, I knew he was going to do that, but I went the wrong way. He uh, turned me over. I was able to get him to the, in the takedown right there. I don't think he knew that uh, Cyborg had that that takedown from double under with a back against the cage. So we snuck that in, got some takedown points, and uh, second round's over. That was a toss up right there. I don't know who won, but uh, I think I'll give it to him because he definitely was turning on the gas, turning on acceleration in that second round. He was catching me with some nice shit. So third round begins. It's about to begin. Excuse me. So, sorry if y'all can hear my pops in the background. Hopefully, I, I can't. He's uh in the bathroom, and uh, <laughs> the bathroom's right next to my room. So, anyway, back to the fight. Touch gloves here. Stamina is high after three rounds. It's like we we haven't really started fighting yet. Like this is crazy. Like I said, this is, these are the matches I like really crave and I really enjoy. Ooh, try to catch up with a chap up a cut hook right there. Starting to, he's starting to, you know, stand in my face a little bit more. Ooh, he was able to slip that and catch me. Nice. Go inside leg kick. Right now, we just throwing a little bit. Catch him with the body kick. I catch him with a jab straight to the body, and then a straight hook to the body. He's starting to slip, and I'm starting to key in on that. Boom. Duck under, hitting with two hooks to the body. And again, I'm starting to key on that. Now he's starting to slip, trying to slip my jab, and trying to counter off of me now. So I'm trying to utilize hooks a little bit. I'm trying to use, I think I'm going to utilize some kicks. Boom. Ah, uh, he slipped it, but I think I still hit him. But I saw his, uh, on his side, his body up went down a little bit. On that body kick when he tried to uh, dash back, but again, like I said, I see now he's with his little, you know, little nuances, little things he's doing now with, the, you know, trying to slip my strikes now. So now I'm trying to be careful, I'm not trying to get slipped, trying to keep everything simple. Boom, catch it with the body kick, double hook that. Didn't mean to throw that. I was trying to throw an uppercut. Boom, catch him with that jab, jab, uh, leg kick. Now, like I said, now I'm feeling, I'm, I'm really comfortable now. I'm, I'm starting to feel like I'm picking, picking him, picking him off a little bit. But as soon as I say that, he caught me with a nice little combo as I was saying that. But yeah, again, I'm feeling confident right here. Boom, missed that leg kick with that shit. I was just lucky enough he wasn't keen on throwing any head kicks or body body kicks like that because I was catching them and I was taking them down which really well as soon as I said it lands the body kick right there but he really wasn't keen on throwing any body kicks or head kicks because I was uh taking them down so I had the little advantage there oh he catches me right there with the leg kick I tried to return favor I got a little salty there <laughs> Second round is pretty, pretty, pretty even. There was a little trade right there. Boom, catch it with the body kick. Good fight here under two to go. Look to the headlands, flush the 
then I get rocked right there, overextended right there, catching me a slip straight. Ooh, and then I got lucky right there. I was able, I was able to <laughs> to block that in time. I thought I was dead right there. Oh, I don't know how that body came there, but he, I guess he ducked and then just offset that. That strike, and now he's starting to he's starting to unload on me a little bit. And I can't let him get the momentum now. He he got the rock. This is his round. But I'm still good. I'm still feeling good, man. That did that rock didn't worry me too much, you know. We made him work. After he rocked me, you know, he was throwing strikes. I was blocking him, able to defend well, and just got a little lucky when I would turn my head to the center line after he threw that kick when I swerved. <laughs> Try to throw an uppercut there. Round three, we got 40 seconds in round three. Like I said this was his round. I'm not gonna really get too discouraged up, discouraged on it because he got the rock, you know. Ooh, whiffed on that, threw a blank head, uh, leg kick, excuse me. Boom, able to catch him with that T, jab, T kick, push him back. And will call me off guard too, man. Like, you know, I'm surprised he wasn't using the teeth. I'm surprised he wasn't using the teeth with uh, Jermaine, Dur Jermaine Durandon because I know she has it because I've used her a few times. And she does have it. Catching with the body kick and round three is over. I give him a bow to acknowledge, you know, you got me that round. You got me that round. Definitely got me that round. But look at Jermaine's face. Her face is bloody. We are. We are rearranging that pretty fish he got. Alright, round four about to begin. Touch it up. Stamina is just about the same. I think I got a little bit more. Jab straight. Now this round four, I said to myself, I'm going to come back out and we're going to grapple again. I'm going to make you work. Make you feel a little uncomfortable. I said to my, to my surprise, man, you know, he... he he was good, man. He was good. He was able to get up right there. He ain't shy away from it. But again, like I said, I just want to keep keep it in his head, dude. It's gonna be a little ugly battle. See, I try to <laughs> try to throw throw a takedown in there, but it was just out of range. I said, like, you know, don't throw them kicks. When you throw them kicks, I'm I'm shooting. I'ma shoot. Throw body shots. He throws the hook. I throw my hook in. Mm, look at that. Look how he flows with that with that jab hook and then the straight hook to the body, man. That shit is annoying if it catches you, man. Cause you'd be like, I want to get that shit back. <laughs> Catch it with the jab to the body. Try to set something up. Able to check that. I try to take him down after I check the leg kick, but he was on the good shit. He gets back up. Throws the leg kick. I love have that. Well, she landed some very significant strikes, but as yet, she has still been unable to string together anything in terms of a solid combination. And it is gonna take strikes oh, catch with the hook. Whoa, and I catch him with the right hook there. Got a rock chop throw the uppercut, he blocks, and it's over. It's over. The uppercut ends this ends the ends the fight, man. Shout out to Marshall Mind, man. We finally got the dub on him, man. Like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Alright? Peace, love, and happiness. One.